Okay, here we've got Solid Edge ST7 open. You may not be able to see it. The screen is kind of small. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open up, using the pen, a uh, Solid Edge assembly. And you can use the pen, you can use the uh, touchpad, or you can use a, a mouse, or you can even use the touch screen, which we'll uh, show you here in a moment. The assembly that I'm opening is a 900 part assembly, roughly, and it's got 250 sub-assemblies, uh, 900 unique parts, about 1,800 uh, uh, total parts. And, uh, and here we have it. So we can, there's a number of ways that we can interact with this. Once it's, it's loaded, you can uh, zoom in and out with your fingers on the screen. If you use just one finger, you can rotate the view. And there have been a number of enhancements in, in ST7 as relates to the touch screen in particular, I think, so that we can use the, uh, uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Uh, we can also use the pen, and if we use the little buttons down here, we can use the pen to, uh, to rotate around. Okay, so that's, uh, that's nice enough. The pen has a couple of buttons on it. The upper button is the right mouse button click. So if I come down here and click on something, I get a right mouse button menu, which is nice. And uh, the, the lower button is for erase. I'm not, I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but uh, uh, that works. And it's got an upper button up here as well, which as far as I can tell, just switches the application. Um, I'm swiping in from the side using typical uh, Microsoft Surface motions to, uh, uh, to change applications. So uh, just a number of ways of interacting. I can also do multi-touch on the touchpad, which, is, which was new to me. But one thing I notice is that it's backwards. You bring your fingers further apart. That's available. You can also put a... Uh, hook a mouse up to it if you want to. It has the Microsoft Surface Pro has a single USB connection and right now I'm using a thumb drive that's how I got the data over here but you could connect a mouse to that. Uh, you could also put a hub in here so get a multi-port USB hub so you've got three or four connections that, uh, that you can make. But at the size of this thing, it's very small, it's very, very portable. It's uh, very easy to use as well. So here's the power connector. Power connector is a lot easier than the old version. It doesn't matter which direction it goes in, this way or that way. And that was true also with the older version, but with this version, it just it goes into place very easily, much easier than the previous version. So I really like that. Uh, the other thing I like, we'll just leave it disconnected for a while, is the, uh, the extra fold in the keyboard. So when you open it up, it gives you a little bit of a hump here so that you can type and your keyboard is a little bit raised. You might notice also, it might be hard to see, but uh, <laughs> that the keyboard is lighted. And to me, that's, that's just a great thing. I, I probably put a little more emphasis on that than I need to, but uh, it's a really nice thing for the keyboard to be lighted so that in, in dark situations, you, know, you can still see the keys. And this is, the type cover. This is not the uh, not the touch cover. So the so the keys do have some actual motion to them. It's uh, you know I'd say that's about three quarters of a millimeter or thereabouts. But uh, it, it's it's really nice. 
<clears throat> the bottom of the type cover is is a felt type material, so it uh, it gets some gets some grab on a surface when you put it down. The uh, the kickstand is a nice feature, better than the original Surface Pro, because you can stand it straight up, or if you start pushing it back, it'll go slowly, but you can push it almost all the way back, so that if you're maybe laying on the carpet or something, hovering over it, you can still you can still type and see it. So. Uh, uh, very nice machine overall. There's not much that it can't do. Between all of the various interfaces with the touch screen, the multi-touch touchpad, the pen, and an available mouse, or uh, however you want to, uh, uh, to input information, I mean, it, it just works out great. Um, you've also got a camera, a microphone, a little speaker on here. And, uh, and the camera also on the back. So um, it's thinner than the old one. You've got a, an earplug here. You've got a volume. The on-off is on the top. Around the edge, we have venting because this does produce some heat. It has a real uh, processor in there. And... Uh, and it does, does produce some heat. I believe there's also a small fan that helps push some of the heat out. Right next to the USB is a mini display port. So you can hook this up to, uh, to another monitor or to a uh, projector. And that's a really nice option. This, again, was the power connection. And they've been a little sneaky. Underneath here, you, you can put your micro SD card for additional storage or for uh, moving data back and forth. So it's a very nice machine. I like it. You can use it for CAD. You can get a docking station for it. And it's extremely portable.